I've clearly had an issue over time with trying to always rekindle things. I don't just leave things to just exist in the time that they existed in, which I think is almost way better than trying to go back and double dip in my experience because double dipping doesn't work it's always you know it might work the first time but after that you just you know there's a reason why it didn't sustain the length of time that it should have because it just didn't work out and um sometimes because you know you sometimes remember your glory years or you remember the best of time that you had with somebody you can sometimes kind of make it seem a lot brighter or a lot roger than what it actually was and I also think there is something to be said with being that person who's able to kind of leave people with good memories, maybe not the be maybe not for the longest time, but you was able to kind of be in their life for a short amount of time, impart them with some good memories, something that they can hark back on and smile and laugh about and maybe share with some other people. And then you moved on and did something else similar to other people too. Again, it's a bit, you know, maybe it sounds like a justification for being a hoe, but I don't think so. It's, I think it's more so about living in the moment <clears throat> and just being willing to accept whatever that moment gives you if it means that you stay with this person forever and ever cool if it means it was a one night thing cool if it means it was two week a month cool 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 but i've always been guilty of kind of trying to dip my toe back in again and usually for the most part nine times out of ten i guarantee you nine times out of ten has always failed and um it's kind of always led to me kind of again going through a little bit of crisis of confidence thinking maybe i overstepped which i clearly did in some occasions and just lisa sometimes some embarrassing situations and <laughs> where you start getting blocked on certain social media platforms you're like oh i think i misread this situation completely which is always i think it was more embarrassing get rejected of yeah i think that might be more embarrassing than getting rejected because if someone rejects you that's one thing they just decided you're not for me and i think i have a very black and white way of thinking about things so i don't really think that deep into it so it's like oh if they say no it just means they're just not into you i don't think oh she must be going through something at home and i don't do that that kind of cope thing that some boys do or oh, she must be you know no 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 if they say no it's you it's definitely not them it's you so you just move on but sometimes when you misread a situation that can maybe be more embarrassing than getting rejected when you completely misread it like you think what they said was meant this but it didn't mean that <laughs> at all <laughs> and you try and double dip and they say uh -uh, don't contact me and then they go far as to say hey there's a block you're not contacting me ever again and you're like okay cool misread misread no worries no worries but then again you just pick yourself up and you move along um you don't go and camp yourself outside their house or whatnot you know what i mean you don't do that creepy stuff you just need to move on so it's great to see her kind of mentioning similar sort of